Hey there, what is up you guys? I am Jerry and welcome back to the channel, The Chicago Griller. This is the show where I share my favorite tips, tricks, and recipes for the Weber Q. And if you think that I can help you out, hit that like button and subscribe. It's the Labor Day weekend here in the United States and while the temperatures might be falling, I've got a recipe that will really ratchet the heat back up and that's for hot honey chicken. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. For today's hot honey chicken recipe, we'll be using some bone-in skin on chicken thighs. To prepare these for the grill, you'll want to grab a sheet of paper towel and pat the chicken dry. This serves two primary purposes. First, it will ensure that the skin crisps up very nicely on the grill. And second, it'll make sure your chicken cooks efficiently on the grill. Once you've patted all sides of your chicken dry, We'll drizzle on some olive oil and then apply your choice of seasonings. So to begin, we're going to take some olive oil and drizzle about a tablespoon or two. Then with your clean hands, rub that evenly across the surface of all your chicken thighs. This olive oil step is very important because just like drying with the paper towel, this really, really helps crisp up that chicken skin. And as an added bonus, it also really helps the seasonings stick to the meat. Now, don't forget to turn over your chicken thighs and make sure you get that oil rubbed on the bone side of your thighs as well. Now, onto the seasonings. First up, I'm going to sprinkle some kosher salt. And of course, crack some fresh ground pepper. Both the salt and pepper are added to taste. Now, it's at this point where you could get really creative with your seasonings, but I just keep it simple and just add some standard paprika. I don't really measure it out here. I just sprinkle enough so that they could cover the surface of each chicken thigh. Now I'll just rub and pat those seasonings in. If you really want to get creative, some other spices you could add are like garlic powder, onion powder, or if you want some extra kick of heat, consider adding some cayenne or chili pepper. No matter what you use, be sure to apply to both sides of your chicken. So once again, some salt, some pepper, and some paprika for me. And after patting and rubbing those seasonings in, it's time to head on out to our grill. So for today's cook, I'll be demonstrating on my Weber Q2000. After preheating for about 10 or 15 minutes, I'll adjust my gas knob to a medium heat and then place my chicken thighs directly across the grill grates. It doesn't really matter which way you lay your chicken thighs down at this stage, but I like to lay them skin side down first. And with all my chicken thighs now on the grill, I'm gonna shut the lid and let these cook for about two minutes. After two minutes of grilling, I'm gonna open the lid and turn each of my chicken thighs over. Depending on how much oil you used, you might need to watch out for a few flare ups as you turn these chicken thighs over. But as usual, as I turn my thighs over, you'll find some great sear marks on that skin side. And there we go. Once all your thighs are turned over, go ahead and shut the lid and cook for another two minutes. All right, and after two minutes, we'll open our lid once again and pull all these chicken thighs off the grill. Now, they've only been on the grill for four minutes total, so these are nowhere near done. Our goal for these four minutes was to give our chicken thighs some nice sear for some texture and some color. But now we're gonna reset our Weber Q from direct grilling to indirect grilling. And what that entails is laying down a Weber Q roasting shield and laying down a roasting rack on top of that. Combined, these accessories essentially convert your Weber Q into an outdoor oven. So now let's grab those chicken thighs that we briefly set aside and lay them on top of our roasting rack. A couple of notes here. First, you're gonna to wanna to lay these skin side up to begin because this will crisp up that skin very nicely. And two, you wanna make sure you leave a little bit of space between each thigh so that the hot air 
can circulate around and really cook and really roast these chicken thighs. With everything on board, you simply just shut the lid and let these cook at about 400 degrees or 200 degrees Celsius for about 40 minutes total. You'll generally want to monitor your temperatures pretty closely, and today you'll see that with my gas knob dialed to about medium heat, I am maintaining that 400 degree target temperature. After about 20 minutes, if I open up the lid of my grill, you'll see that my chicken is coming along really nicely, and you can really hear the crackle as that skin crisps up. That said, I'm going to give everything a flip to ensure that these cook evenly. Okay, so after 20 more minutes, that's 40 minutes of total indirect grilling time. Let's see how we're doing. All right, so these thighs look absolutely beautiful. They've turned a nice golden color and smell delicious, but you can't determine doneness by color or smell alone. So please, please, please grab a temperature pen and check the temperature of each thigh. For chicken, you're looking for a minimum of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 74 degrees Celsius. And you'll see I'm actually a little bit over that mark today, but that's okay. Chicken thighs, and in particular bone-in chicken thighs, are very, very forgiving. And that's why they're one of my favorite things to grill, because it's really hard to mess them up. That said, these guys are all ready, so I'm going to pull them all off the grill. But wait a second, I thought we were making hot honey chicken. Where's the hot honey? Well, here it is. This is Mike's Hot Honey, which is a brand that me and my wife really, really enjoy and is found locally here in our grocery stores. But really any honey or any hot honey will do. Drizzle that hot honey liberally on top of your chicken thighs. And like I said, we really, really like this brand of hot honey because as you can see, this bottle is almost empty. Shoot, I should have used a new bottle before starting this recipe. In any case, that's it. That is how you make hot honey chicken on a Weber Q grill. There's a reason why this is a classic combination, and when you try it, you'll understand. Because it's a perfect blend of crispiness, sweetness, and spiciness. Give this a try, and let me know how it turns out for you. Thank you very much, as always, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I cannot wait to see you all again next time. Bye!